The stampede happened in the city of Malang in East Java province after a match between home team Arima FC and their rival Surabaya. The chaos began after supporters from the losing side, Arima FC, invaded the pitch. Police responded by firing tear gas which caused fans to flee for the exits. Many of our friends lost their lives because of officers who did not humanise us. We're very disappointed with the treatment because many lives were lost. FIFA's rules ban the use of tear gas by stewards or police at football matches. East Java's police chief defended the crowd control measures used by his officers. It was a feeling of disappointment that prompted supporters to go down to the field to ask the players why they lost the game. That's when the security team moved in so fans wouldn't get onto the field or interact with the players. During that process, tear gas was fired because there was anarchy. Police estimate 3,000 fans stormed the pitch. Indonesian President Joko Widodo has ordered an investigation into the incident. I have specially requested the police chief investigate and get to the bottom of this case. Furthermore, I have also ordered the Indonesian Football Association to temporarily halt Liga 1 matches until evaluations and improvements to the safety procedures have been completed. 42,000 people attended the sellout match, all Arima FC supporters. Surabaya fans weren't allowed to buy tickets because of the risk of violence. I think at this moment FIFA should step up, not by banning Indonesian football, but working together, guiding our football association with the right security measures. Yeah. East Java's provincial government says it will give $650 in compensation to the families of the victims and promises lessons will be learned so a tragedy like this doesn't happen again. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.